You say you'll be down in five The smell of your perfume Is floating down the stairs You're fixing up your hair like you do I know that I'll be a mess The second that I see you You won't be surprised It happens every time It's nothing new It's always on a night like tonight I thank God you can read my mind Cause when you look at me with those eyes I'm speechless Staring at you, standing there in that dress What it's doing to me ain't a secret Cause watching you is all that I can do And I'm speechless You already know that you're my weakness After all this time I'm just as nervous I guarantee you can't possibly imagine how much of a positive impact you've had on my life You have pushed me to get off my butt more times than I can count Now look to you We got a house, a dog, everything we could talk about getting And we did it together Cause we pushed each other to be better and then we finally have a wedding to check off that our list. And there is so much more I can't wait to check off that list with you as my wife. All right. As your husband, I vow to always be faithful. You are the only woman for me and always will be. I vow to be more patient. I know I can be anxious about a lot of things, but I want to be able to take it slower and think things out instead of panicking, especially if we are going to start a family together. And I vow to be your best friend. I want to be someone you can always come to, no matter what to the good and the bad. I will always be there for you as someone to love, someone to cry on, or just someone if you want to talk. I will always be there for you no matter what. As I stand here today, all I can think is how I never imagined I'd be standing here in front of my best friend and love of my life, surrounded by so many people who care for me and love me. For the past five years, two months, and 16 days, you've oh. showed me that love can be a series of highs and lows. But as long as I have, but as long as I have you, the highs outweigh everything. David, you are the most amazing man I have ever met, and I am so proud to be calling myself your wife. I know sometimes things can get tough when we don't see eye to eye, but I appreciate that you don't give up on us and, our, and that our love persists. I can't wait to experience and witness the father and husband you grow to be, and to see how our love matures as we get old and gray together on our never-ending journey. On this journey of ours, I promise to always choose you before anything else and to always be your best friend and shoulder for you to lean on because without you, I wouldn't be here today. I promise to remind you how much you mean to me and to cherish every gift you give because, be, because to me, being your wife is the greatest gift I could ever receive. <laughs>
and behold, I said to him, what are you going to do with this girl? And he says to me, we're going to Netflix and chill. I said, did I teach you anything? I said, you will get flowers, you will pick her up, you will introduce yourself to her family, and you will treat her like a woman, like she deserves it. And that's what he did. And that's what he did. Yeah. And, and that was it. I saw him. I saw the way he looked at her. I saw the way she looked at him. And it was the love I wanted for my son. I knew it, just watching them together. Am I afraid for him that she might kill him one day? Yeah, I'm a little nervous, you know? I said, but she could protect him too, so I'm happy for that because, you know. But um, I just see them together and it makes me so happy. And I'm glad you're part of our family. I'm glad our family got bigger. I'm thrilled. I'm so happy for you too. You have no idea. This is all I wanted for my son was to have a love like this, and he does. So I'm happy. Thank you for loving our girl with no limits and for embracing your new family with open arms. We absolutely love you. Um, David, from the first day we met you, you showed me that you were never afraid to show Tia that love. And that's something that I will always cherish and love to see that about you guys. So congratulations. I love you. One of my speeches, Balance. You have the house. You have this dinosaur. How about a round of applause for Pepsi, huh? The best ring bearer you could ever ask for. Unbelievable. They were actually good. They trust him so much, they were gonna give him the rings. Can you believe that? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, the most loyal dog in the world. But it wouldn't be possible without the love of these two and a village that raised them both. So when I asked these newlyweds, I said, how are you gonna balance the rest of your lives? How are you gonna take the time because you've taken the time? How are you gonna go for it and balance each other? Because love, as y'all know, it's not equal. One day you gotta give 100%, the next day maybe someone else has to. Maybe you have to give 100% all the time. You never know how it goes. But it's through these turmoils and these triumphs is what makes these people the Mancini's today. And if there isn't any better description of it, look at the storm that we had today, and now it's just a sunset. Through all that rain, through all that trouble, through all that tapping your Oh man, it's gonna rain on the party. We got through it. To the Mancinis, cheers. <laughs>